when benzene gets in your system, you are causing your own natural cells to go through changes that lead to cancer. Tell us, Leslie, what other types of personal care products did you find benzene in? Well, I wanted to pick up some other aerosol products, like a feminine care product that's an aerosol spray, and I found benzene in that too. That's a thin membrane you're spraying benzene on. I'm appalled by that. And I want to make the distinction. A lot of people think the FDA is out there testing these products, that somebody's testing these products. Now, antiperspirants are considered and regulated like a drug because there's an active ingredient. How do you know if something has an active ingredient? You turn the bottle around and you look at the drug label on the back of it. Now, we know that cosmetics are unregulated, but just because antiperspirants are regulated like a drug doesn't mean the FDA is testing these products. They don't. And they also can't force mandatory recalls. So I reached out to all of these companies that I found benzene in, and I got a lot of excuses. I got a lot of pushback. And one of the brands actually blamed the lab for the benzene contamination. So this investigation is just beginning because our goal is to force these companies with our findings to take these products off store shelves. They shouldn't be there. The benzene shouldn't be in the products and we should feel safe using these items every day. Well, my question is, why? where's the FDA? Why is it Leslie Marcus doing the job of you would think <laughs> the FDA should be doing. I mean, and, and Doc, you and I, I'm sitting here and I, I didn't know that the FDA is so non-involved in the testing of products like this. Uh, think about that. We are doctors and we did not know that the FDA isn't hypervigilant when it comes to taking things out of products that could harm us. So everybody out there, we're all in the same boat. I don't know about you, but I'm shocked. At this point, let's bring into the discussion the CEO of Valisher Laboratory, David Light. So David, one of these companies, as a part of this testing, made allegations blaming your lab for the benzene contamination and not the product itself. So that's crazy. So what, what do you have to say about those claims? I think what they might be referring to is that benzene is in the environment at very low levels, it can be in the air, it can be in the water, usually at a part per billion or less. And therefore, that same environment's in our laboratory. So, of course, there's going to be some background, some noise of benzene. It can even be in the chemicals that gets used in laboratories to do the analysis. But any good laboratory, especially at Valisher, we subtract that out. So, of course, benzene is in the environment, but we're talking about thousands of times higher than what tends to be just naturally in the environment. Even in the environment, the EPA has set very strict rules and, and it's trying to get that down lower and lower. They've set a goal of zero in our water supply and they allow up to five parts per billion. That emergency level that Leslie was talking about was two parts per million, 500 times higher. Um, so it's, it's completely, completely different and, and hundreds of times different. And just to also say that the type of the analysis that we're, that we're talking about is uh, accredited at Valisher to the International Organization of Standardization. We, we are an ISO accredited laboratory. And furthermore, we're specifically accredited for the analysis of benzene. 